There are many, many, many tutorials out there on how to clean game cartridges, some correct and some very, very wrong. But one thing they all have in common is that they're all being pushed at you, the viewing public, as being the very best. The sole aim of my take on the subject is to show you an honest, easy and cost effective way to clean all our cartridges, no matter what the system, and hopefully once and for all, steer you away from the options that can do more harm than good. Before we begin, I feel it's almost as important to point out what methods you simply shouldn't use. Please, please do not use rubbing alcohol. Sure, it contains isopropyl alcohol, but it's been mixed with a lubricant called glycerine that leaves a layer of film on your pins. Similarly, window cleaner, brass cleaner, your hot blowing breath and saliva can all do more damage than good by not fully removing dirt, residue, or even in your breath's case, promote oxidization, all things you set out to resolve in the first place. To give everything a good clean, we will need the following. Adhesive remover, antibacterial surface cleaner, Q-tips, an artist's eraser, isopropyl alcohol, paper towel, and a clean cloth. And last but not least, game bits to open our games. These are available online and I'd recommend picking up the 3.8 and 4.5mm bits at the same time to reduce cost. First we need to remove the game board from within the cart itself. So get your game bit and remove the screws in the back. When removed, open the cart, grab the game board and place it on a sheet of paper towel. If visible or obvious, wipe both sides of the pins with a separate paper towel before we begin. The reason it's important to remove the game board from its shell when cleaning is because if you don't, all you're doing is cleaning part of the pins and just shoving any dirt further up inside. If your game cart loads vertically, guess what? That dirt will eventually find its way back down and probably into your console, and even if it doesn't, will just increase the chances of oxidation on the board itself. Now we turn our attention to the eraser and the pins themselves. Even the cleanest of carts can suffer from oxidation. It's bound to happen. Some of these games are over 30 years old. So using the eraser, begin rubbing back and forth across the pins. Don't rush this. Take your time. It can take a while. And slowly but surely they should begin changing from dull and lifeless to the bright and shiny state they once were. When done, repeat on the second side, again taking your time until fully satisfied. If there is any, wipe any leftover razor residue from the pins using a fresh paper towel. Now it's time to use the isopropyl alcohol. We dip a Q-tip directly into the alcohol, here I've poured some into a small bowl, and apply it directly to the freshly clean pins. A simple rub back and forth is all that is needed, because we've already used the eraser, but make sure again to do both sides. The alcohol will evaporate from the pins completely, but it needs time. I'd recommend at least 4 hours, but 24 hours would be ideal. Do not plunge it directly into your system straight away after cleaning, as even though it might look dry, it won't have fully evaporated. While it dries, we'll turn our attention to the plastic cart itself. Even the cleanest looking carts can hide dirt internally, and since there is no point at all in cleaning the pins and putting them back into the same dirty plastic cartridge without cleaning it first, we'll now tackle that. In the majority of cases, antibacterial spray, paper towel and a bit of elbow grease will ship the most stubborn of dirt, and it's easy to apply. A simple spray internally on both sides, grab some paper towel and get rubbing. Like the pins before, it could take a while depending on how clean it is, but stick with it. The end results will be well worth it. Finally, we turn back to our isopropyl alcohol again. Get a fresh paper towel, fold it, gently dip it into the alcohol, just dampening it. And now we wipe down the inside of the cart again. And like with the pins before, we'll need to leave time to let it evaporate. The outside of the carts can be a different beast completely, but the process is pretty much the same. It can differ slightly if there's a price label or price label residue on the cart, so we'll take a look at that first. This is where our sticky adhesive remover comes into play. If the residue is near the cart's label, start by shielding that before using it. Apply enough to fully moisten the sticker or its residue and leave it to sit for a few minutes. When ready, gently rub the surface of the cart with a clean cloth. This process may have to repeat it for the substance to be fully removed. But when done, we will return to our isopropyl alcohol once more. Dampen a fresh paper towel and again wipe down the area to clean it. If needed, use your antibacterial spray on a paper towel for the outside of the cart also. Again, being careful to avoid that label. When done, simply wait for your cart and pins to dry fully before reassembling and returning your game to its fully assembled state. 